Welcome to the Thrift Flip Road Trip. Today we're kicking off an exciting open challenge hosted by Unicorn Dust Designs, Crafting Cousins, and our special guest co-host Tammy from Happiness Created. Watch as talented creators breathe new life into forgotten treasures, transforming them into something extraordinary. November is Subscriber Appreciation Month, and as a thank you for your amazing support, we're giving away fabulous prizes to nine lucky winners. Here's what you could win. A box of craft supplies from Crafting with Indiana Jones. A deluxe easy bow maker from Buckeye Girls Lifestyle. A Creative Memories card kit from Creative Pages with Catherine. Cordless electric scissors from Crafting Up a Storm with Char. A hobby knife set and self-healing cutting mat from Happiness Created. A brayer set from I'm Merely Melissa. A $50 Amazon gift card from DIY with Aria. A $50 Amazon gift card from Crafting Cousins. And a $100 Visa gift card from CJ DIY. To enter, watch the November Thrift Flip Road Trip playlist and comment on your favorite project from each creator. Remember, you must leave a comment on every video in the playlist to be eligible to win. Mark your calendar for Saturday, November 23rd when we'll announce the winners on our community tabs. Due to shipping costs, this giveaway is open to U.S. residents only. Don't miss out on your chance to win. Follow the playlist in the description box below and spread the love. Wow, did you hear that? We will talk about that here right after this first DIY. Welcome to Maxine Loves Crafts. I'm so glad you're here. So I found this first picture. I don't know. I've had it for quite some time. It says $4.99. That's probably about what I paid for it. I'm almost positive it was $5. But for a frame, you know, it's already framed. It's a beautiful picture. I really liked it. So I've had it in my stash for a while. And this was the perfect project for it. This um, North Pole Express, the train. I love this picture so much. It's from Essential Stencils. Now, Tammy from Happiness Created is the one who really got me started on these. She had sent me one um, this past summer, and oh my goodness, I love it so much. If you want to know anything about them, definitely get a hold of her. She is the one who is constantly buying these and using these and making the most beautiful projects with them. And I'm so glad that she has turned me on to these. So, like I said, this is the Polar Express. It's a train. I think it's stunning. And I'm going to, I had to cut it into pieces to make it fit in this frame. So that's exactly what I did. And so the first step is to, you know, figure out, am I going to be able to create it exactly like it was printed on here? And I absolutely do by cutting it down. Don't be afraid to cut these. You want to make sure that you can fit them on whatever frame you might have for them or whatever you're putting them on. So I peeled off that. Now be very careful putting them down because you can ruin them if you put it down and it's not where you want it to be. I've done it. I did it on the one that Tammy sent me this past summer and I was devastated. <laughs> so... I would learn my lesson was very careful. It comes with that little stick. And I'm sure we've all seen, you know, transfers. It's nothing new. It's just these are stunningly beautiful. Everything you get from them is just so, I don't know, they're just so beautiful. And it makes a simple $5 frame into what looks like a very high-end project. So I'm taking and I'm going to start, you know, taking my little, I guess you would call it, it's kind of like a flat stick, <laughs> but it's the, I don't know what they're called, honestly. It's kind of like a flat stick that, you, you know, you're going to get the transfer off with. It does take some time. Um, you really have to be gentle with it. Make sure that you're peeling it a little bit if you know, some comes off on the 
um, transfer, you just lay it back down and go ahead and, you know, and scrub it on there again with the pencil or not the pencil, the stick. <laughs> so here's the two I cut down and I really had to cut close to the images so that I could make sure that it fit on here. But like I said, I got it on there and this, oh my goodness, I love this so much. I'm either going to gift this to, um, uh, my daughter-in-law who her colors this year is red or I'm going to keep it in my holiday decor if she doesn't want it because it's a train but who wouldn't want this picture right it's stunning <laughs> so as you'll see you know I went and got the established 1809 got the I think it says um co coco um, oh, I can't remember what it says now. And that's already downstairs hanging up. Because <laughs> it's so cute. I couldn't help but hang it up. Um, but yeah, it does take a little bit of time. You really have to give it some pressure. Not too much pressure because you don't want to damage the picture you're putting it on. But this frame was so well made. It did have, have some water damage on it, which I was really concerned about. But when I painted it... It's like the image that I put on there with this kind of covered it up in the tree. So you can't really see it. Thank goodness. Is this not beautiful? Oh my goodness. I love this DIY so much. It's my favorite. You guys know I always start with my favorite project. I don't know why. You think I should build up to my favorite, but not me. Right out the gate, it's my favorite. <laughs> so that's what I did. Okay, so I know that you guys saw the beginning of this this is Appreciation Month. It's hosted by Trish and Kay, Unicorn Dust Design Sammy, and Crafting Cousins is Trish and Kay. And then um, guest host is Tammy from Happiness Created. These women are all so talented and gifted at crafting. You just can't get any better than them. So every other month, we um, the Ca Crafting Cousins and Sammy do this. And... This month, I mean, wow, like just for them, all of the crafters in here to get together and do those giveaways is so generous, especially this time of year. So I'm so honored to be part of these ladies and, uh, you know, take some trash and turning into some treasure. <laughs> okay, so thank you ladies for including so many of us crafters in this. We just love this playlist so much. Okay, so I have these three boxes. They are from, um, I got it at the Goodwill bins. And uh, so I don't know what I paid for because it it's by weight. But I, yeah, I got it at the Goodwill bins. And uh, as soon as I got it, that's what I thought of. I thought of painting it and make it into a snowman. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, this project took me longer than I thought. I thought this was going to be the most simple project I was ever going to do. But it actually took me quite some time. So, but because of the hat, the hat is what took me the longest. I could not figure out how I wanted to create a snowman hat. But I did figure it out. Like, this is going to be the brim of the hat. And it, all it is is in some glitter car, foam cardstock. Well, it's not foam cardstock because that's two different things. It's glitter foam and um i it's you know it's sticky on one side and then glitter on the other so what i like about it is that i can put a hole right in the middle and then stick that right on top of my top you know box now <laughs> when it comes to the hat part of this <laughs> i'm using a yogurt container and let me tell you, I cut out so much of this because the video was 40 minutes long. So I cut a ton of it out. But I had taken red foam and put, see that? <laughs> That's the only time you're going to see that, I think. I'm almost positive. It just didn't work. And all of these snowman faces come from a very good friend of mine. She sent me um, some stuff, and this was in it. And I love it so much. She knows who she is. Thank you very much. I love it, love it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect timing because I'm getting ready to do the snowman. Or, yeah, the snowman in this video. So it's like she couldn't have sent this to me at the most perfect time. So I'm putting on the little face. So cute. 
Now, I don't like the foam on the top hat. So I take it off and then I paint it red. And then I'm like, okay, this is never, the red is not ever going to cover it up. I'm going to have to do 10 coats. So I go ahead and I change it to black, which the only reason I went with red is because I wanted it to match other parts of the snowman. But in the end, it turns out really cute and it doesn't even matter. But I did go ahead and go with black. So I'm painting my yogurt container <laughs> that I had already painted red. As you can see why this video was so long, because I did things, redid them, redid them again. But you know, it's like when you're creating, you have a vision, but that vision doesn't always come to light the way you think it will, right? So, you know, it you have to take a right when you thought you were going left and you just have to fix it. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. Okay. Then I'm going to take this really pretty ribbon that I have and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom because I want, you know, to have ribbon on it, obviously. And I have got so much ribbon, but I really liked this one. Can you guys believe we're so close to Christmas, y'all? It's like, it's, I think, 39 days away already. And I feel like I just got started crafting and it's already almost over. <laughs> I'm like, I can't believe that it's already almost over. Oh, time is flying as I'm aging, I'll tell you. Who's with me? Who feels like time is flying <laughs> as you're aging? Okay, so after I get my um, ribbon around there, the way I want it. Then I have some totally bedazzled jewels that I've had ever since I started my channel, what, three years ago, I think. I had bought like a great big bag from her, which I still recommend these. I love them so much. And I'm going to put one on the scarf and one on the hat. What I didn't realize when I was trying, when I was fighting with the jewel to get it on there is that I had it so close to where the seam of the ribbon comes together. But you really have to be looking at it so well to notice that I've made that error. So it's like, you know, um, I just don't even worry about it. I could have taken the whole thing up and redid it, but, you know, I am the last minute queen here. And it is, you know, the videos are going up in... I don't know, 40 minutes and I'm just not doing my voiceover. So, you know, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> You're going to go with it. Okay, so now I'm taking and I'm going to put my hat on my snowman who turns out so stinking cute. He turns out really, really tall. I didn't realize how tall he was going to be. Okay, there's my little bejeweled. Okay, so that's my top box. And thank goodness for that sticky foam because it's like perfection that it's stuck on there and I don't have to glue it. I don't have to anything. I love it. I almost made these boxes into a gingerbread. But I was like, you know, I saw it as a snowman. I'm going to go with it. So then I take three buttons and I put the buttons down there. Okay, when it comes to the scarf, um, when I was at thrift stores, you know, I used to buy fabric and you know, ribbon, anything you can find, right, that you know you can create with. And I had this scarf that I probably paid $1.99 for. You know, scarves are not very expensive. I cut a very small portion off of it, and I use it as my scarf. And then I take an even bigger bejeweled, and I'm going to see how I showed you it's, how it's bigger, and I'm going to put it on there. And ta-da, there it is. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so cute. I just love it. It's really, really tall. But, like, I think it came out exactly the way I kind of had envisioned in my head. Even though, you know, getting to this point was not, didn't go, <laughs> didn't go as planned. 
Okay, so I did just want to take a minute again to thank these ladies so much. Their channels, along with the playlist, will be in the description box down below. And so will the rules to the giveaway. And also thanks to all the ladies who gave something away. I mean, it's just so generous. And I want to thank you so much for doing that for people who are watching. It's just so kind of all of you. And I, I just love this playlist so, so much. So thanks to uh, Trish and Kay for coming up with it. <laughs> okay. So as you can see really quickly, I just took um, the, I got this at a thrift store for $2.99 and I took the uh, cloth or whatever it was on it. It was really hard to get off only underneath the wood and it had been stapled. So it was really hard to get off. Then I take after I get it all cut off and, and looking decent, I take and I put this fabric that I just got at Joann's, I don't know, two weeks ago. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to Mod Podge it onto this board. Then I just got this yesterday from Timu. It is some gingerbread, a gingerbread mold basically is what it is. I'm going to use, put some resin together. And I feel like everyone has seen at this point, everyone do resin. You really should wear gloves because it sticks to you. It sticks to everything around you. You know, it is chemical. It heats up. You should always wear gloves. I just don't have any right now. I really have to pick some up. But you mix it. And if you don't mix it in the right amount of time, you'll get with what I have here. Some of these came out perfect. And one of the little kids and the candy cane did not. Because I, I think it was at the bottom and I didn't stir it well enough. So you have to make sure you really get to stirring all the way from the bottom up. And I wish I would have stirred it a tiny bit longer because then I would have had a second little kid and a candy cane. But that's okay. I mean, it is what it is, right? You just have to remember to stir the chemicals really well. So here's where it's been, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. I wait and let them, you know, get really, not hard, but, you know, hardened. And then I'm demolding them, okay? And you're going to see here in a minute, I'm going to show you where the one is just like translucent and goopy and it's just got to go straight in the trash. And so does the candy cane, which is unfortunate. You know, what are you going to do? But... I've done this one other time, so I really need to pay attention to make sure that I'm stirring. And maybe it's just that I'm doing too much at once. Maybe that's what it is because I'm trying to fill so many molds. So maybe I need to not do as much of the A and B that you put together. Maybe I need to do smaller batches. But it's like you just want to make sure that you don't run out in the middle of a, a larger mold, right? Anyway, if you guys haven't tried resin, I really recommend it. It's not as hard as I thought it was, and I really enjoy it. You know, there's so much you can do with resin. You can do clear resin, colored resin. You can add, you know, when you do clear resin, you can add stuff to it. It's just amazing. I really enjoy playing with resin. Okay, so now I'm going to take, and normally I just take my resin pieces, and it's such a it's so hard to get them detailed painted, you know, to get the paint and the details. And But this I thought, you know, I'm going to really try. So I start with the hazelnut, you know, getting all of them and their faces, their arms, their legs, all painted in hazelnut. I do do their um, clothes they have on as well. And I actually get them all painted pretty well. I was actually pretty impressed with how well they... Um, did get painted. So, and this is just what I'm showing you right now. This was another video that when I was done creating. It was like 40 minutes long. And, you know, you have to cut it down. <laughs> you can't do a two-hour video on three projects, right? So there was a lot more to, you know, just the, you know, 
watching the resin harden and all that stuff, but I'm sure everyone has seen that done before, so I just didn't want to bore you with it. And I painted the little girl with a red dress and a red bow. I painted the mom in a pink dress. And the dad, I put him in a really pretty um, green shirt with pink accents and black pants. Now I'm taking some puff paint. And I'm going to put some icing on all of them. And then I'm going to take some... I just got it off Timu, which this Timu package came at the right time for these molds and for my little um, candy that I'm going to put like on top that I'm trying to get to stick there. It's kind of hard to see now, but I'm just taking and really putting some can see the candy right there. It's kind of like um, pl clay bits. That's what they are. They're fake candy looking clay bits. I do let this dry for a little while before I put it onto the picture. The only thing that I kind of am a little disappointed about with this, because I, I do love the project, is that the gingerbread I create, you'll see here in a minute, they kind of hide themselves in the picture because of all the gingerbreads behind it. But I still really like it, so... I don't know what, maybe I should have painted them in white and not actually um, detailed them. But, you know, see, you can still see them. It's just that there's already so much brown because of all the gingerbreads on the fabric. I don't know. You guys tell me what you would have done here. This already has a hanging element on it, so I can hang it on the wall in my kitchen, which is going to be gingerbread. So I put the mom, the dad, the little girl, and the dog. And it's so cute. <laughs> so, so cute. You guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm so grateful. Thanks to all the ladies for putting this amazing playlist together. And thank you, Tammy, for being the special co-host. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday night the rest of the weekend. Um, I think that you guys are all so amazing and yeah, I'm so happy. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing. All right, you guys happy crafting.